gonna knock it down. We'll do it, we'll edit it in post. <laughs> So here we go. We got the foundation set. We think we got the truck coming in a couple hours. We got a rebar. We got our wire mesh. We got the plastic. This is where the bathroom is going. This is where the bedroom is. The entrance. The living area right here. It's looking pretty good. everybody nice to uh i can't see it but anyways i wanted to give you an update me and sandra built this foundation using these culvert clamps as the circular area around it and uh left these nice little dimples so this is where the entry is going to be this is the door this is going to be the living area where the couch will be the bathroom of course i didn't do plumbing because uh i'm just doing this as a technically a storage shed and a prototype so that's where the bathroom will be i'm going to just do it off the grid for now but uh with compostable toilet but anyways this is the bathroom it's this is a 10 foot uh diameter i'm going to do a 
a straight wall cylinder dome here and this turned out it was going to be about 16 feet but somehow it turned to 18 foot diameter but i'm not complaining more is more is gooder you know like they always say and uh this one this is where the bed would be and probably gonna put some uh french doors or um you know sliding glass door or something that's where my shed's going in but yeah i spent about 1300 dollars on the concrete probably another uh thousand bucks on other materials like culvert clamps those are about i don't know i think i spent about 400 bucks on those they're about 50 bucks each around that 30 40 they ranged and all the tools needed and i paid you know some some hands and stuff but uh yeah it turned out really nice just want to give you all an update and let you know that you can do it yourself this is the first time i've ever done a foundation with me and sandra and so <clears throat> you know here it is not bad all right. Love you guys.